Former Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Malam Nasir El Rafai, has honored an invitation by the Department of State Security Service, DSS, to appear before it today in Abuja. Malam El Rafai was accompanied to the DSS headquarters by his wife, Governor Rotimi Amechi of River State, and Senator Chris Ngige. Representatives of the Conference of Nigerian Political Parties, as well as the Interim National Secretary of the APC, Alaji Tijani Tumasa. Now, while his wife, the River State Governor, and Senator Ngige were allowed in by the DSS, the representatives of the Conference of Nigerian Political Parties, as well as the Interim National Secretary of the APC, Alhaji Tijani Tumasa, were denied entry. Before he left for the DSS office, Madam El Rafai told journalists at his residence that he will continue to speak up against all forms of injustice, electoral malpractice, and act of misgovernance without fear or favor. He also adds that he never resisted arrest over the weekend, but only demanded for a warrant of arrest before he could leave his house. And the former minister of the Federal Capital Territory also says that his arrest may be as a result of his comment that the 2015 election may not be violence-free if the general elections are not free and fair. Also speaking in Abuja, Governor Mechi says he has the instruction of the All Progressive Congress to accompany Malam El Rafai, adding that none of them will be cowed by state intimidation. All I asked for was a warrant of arrest because the, I believe that the SSS has no power to compel me to go to their office because of a statement which I have rights under the constitution to make. Now, do you think that the uh, uh, Gondia now will not uh, be embarrassed? Look, uh, embarrassment is part of life. It, it, it does not matter. Embarrassment is part of life. All I want to say is that uh, whoever violates the law or uh, does anything against the constitution should uh, face, the, would face the consequences. We will pursue our rights in courts and uh, in the courts of public opinion. So why do you think you have been arrested so I think because I sued the SSS for detaining me unlawfully in Oka during the gubernatorial election, I think that's the main reason. But of course, they have to find some other reason because there is nothing I have said that uh, there is nothing I have said that uh, history has not shown. I said elections should be free and fair. If they are not free and fair, there is likelihood of violence. This has happened at least four times in our history: in 1964, 1983, 1993, and 2011. So, what is strange about that? Anybody that doesn't know that is either not reading history or just ignoring history. It is all politics. This is all about 2015. This is all an attempt to intimidate and silence the opposition against crying out that elections are likely to be read by the PDP. And we'll continue to speak. They can continue to arrest me until we get free and fair elections in Nigeria. It was directed by the party to escort, to escort uh, Malam to the police. But you know, if, if, I, I, told, I told Malam, you don't expect that a government or PDP will willingly cede power. <laughs> they are not. They are not. They are not Christ. They will just say the APC take power. They will fight with all means, and this one is one of the institutions they will use in fighting anybody who wants to take power from them.